Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Kavya Sama Love is for season 3 episode number 6. Alright, the previous episode. It was one of the best episodes of this series and uh, it was mainly on rap, you know. Um, Shirogane learns to rap. Uh, he asks Chika to teach her to rap but Chika doesn't know anything about rap so Chika learns about rap and then teaches Shirogane about rap. So it was basically rap the whole <laughs> episode 70 percent episode episode was full of rap and uh, shirogane wanted to you know like through rap wanted to uh let uh hasaka know his feelings and how you know like the whole conversation that happened previously about being having a fake persona all that uh he wanted to let it all out and like you know make it reach to hasaka and that's why he learned rap and uh, he called them Kaguya followed them obviously and oh boy that was like one of fantastic uh, like you know like sequence of Chika and <laughs> Shirogane rapping and yeah that was amazing Kaguya joins in as well by the Melikane middle and then Hasaka also uses rap to tell about her feelings and we basically see how she is envious of Kaguya that's like you know like the long story short she's envious of Kaguya uh, you know like she she as she said in the by the end of it she also wants something someone like you know a male friend and seeing how kaguya is like you know like being so happy uh up until now she was the only one that kaguya had and they kind of like you know they were like sisters and everything so seeing how kaguya is being happy with shirogane she's feeling left out and that made her envious and that's why she kind of messed with Shirokane and all basically that so it's just that you know like fear of being left out and uh, yeah and like you know all the feelings came out like they clashed and hopefully their relationship from here onwards will be a good one um a better one it was already good but it will be a better one and the final section we get Maki coming in asking for help and just wanting to vent her frustrations and Shirokane <laughs> and Ishigami was there for her and she's like by the end of it she's like oh these two are my best friends and kaguya just got pissed off <laughs> that was kind of funny so yeah let's see what this episode brings what more crazy stuff this episode has and this is episode number six of kaguya sama uh uh six yeah episode number six of kaguya sama love is War season three so i'll be putting the subtitles on the time right here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started <clears throat> all right here's the countdown three two one go paint teacher conference instructions second year okay does the dad okay oh will we see Kaguya's Parents. <laughs> Wait, so Okay. Be on need Wait, what? Like Oh. <laughs> Wait, she was here? True? Hmm. Okay. Wait, what? Oh no! Okay, calm down. <laughs> Yeah, I, I want to. Oh. Okay, that was kind of suggestive. Like, I do wonder, like, he can easily get scholarships, I guess. But still, like, you know, like, we know that her fam his family is not that well off. So, going for a job, I think Shirogane is probably thinking what he should do like that's like the 
basic theme of most animes i see like you know like the whole dilemma of whether to work or going for college and okay let's see what happens wait parent teacher meeting we are we going to see shogun's dad again here i uh, can't wait to listen to dio's voice again <laughs> And another thing, we've never seen Kaguya's parents, so I don't know. I feel like we might meet them in the future. I don't know, but it'll be interesting. Trying for outside universe. Hmm. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, that was a joke? Okay. Oh. Now, son. Oh, wait, her mom. Oh, okay. White castle. Wait, she's here. Is that Hasaka's mom? Oh. Wait, that was quite a change. She just changed in a heartbeat. Gone. Is that the dad's name? Okay. <laughs> All right. Hmm. What? Wait. What? <laughs> what? What? Ah. <laughs> uh. What the hell is happening here? Wait, what? <laughs> is it? Is it is it Chica's dad? No, who's? What is it? Wait. Wait, who was that? For a moment, I thought it was Okabe Rintaro from Steins Gate. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay. Yo, calm down. Wow, their personality is so same. <laughs> oh no. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh wait, that has a gun. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. Ah, exactly. <laughs> like you are talking. 
Ah, ah esse Mark. Qual o nome? Public universal. I wasn't able to. Re oh my god. Switch jobs. Ah. Wait, she's not talking about you guys. Ah. I was. I have a letter of recommendation. What? Stand for? Studying abroad? Oh! Oh boy. Wait, which year? They're in the final year, aren't they? Okay. Wow, I was not expecting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, true. It's a virtual monster. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you're not casual. Hmm. <laughs> ah! Yep. Yeah, okay, please Kaguya, please try to understand his implications. Oh boy. Y you fool! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you just said no! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! She wasn't able to... Mm. <laughs> yeah. Now, okay, I really hope they are able to figure out that something must be wrong, that means. Alright, it's not Doraemon, yeah. Oh my... Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, I feel like Shirogan will Shirogan will be able to understand. Yeah, I hope Shirogan is able to pick up on that. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. All right. Okay. Oh my god, her face.
All right. Oh my God. I really hope. Yeah. <laughs> Sweaty palm. Oh. Uh. Yo, what's the sweat? <laughs> All right, Chica or whoever. Ah, uh, Ishigami, there you go. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, <sighs> she got me. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Three points. Maybe, maybe Chica. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Chica? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh Lord. Ten points. <laughs> Grim future. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I really hope it's Shirogane. <laughs> Yo, their faces! <laughs> Yeah. And they went. <laughs> what the? Wants to make her confess. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I also didn't understand. <laughs> yeah, his rapping is... Hmm? <laughs> Objectively, wow, this is all a shirogane. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh. Ah. <laughs> yo oh my yo okay stop 
Okay, this is going in a very bad direction. <laughs> this is going in a bad direction. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Some kind of game. Okay. Oh no. He's, he's digging himself a bigger hole. Now loading. <laughs> what? Okay, she she understood. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. But then... <laughs> oh no. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 that did happen. Just that. Wow! Yo, what? You just said- okay. <laughs> Personality. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Yeah, you just said you did. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is that Ishigami? Oh, that's Shirogana as well. Okay. Yeah, shonen protagonist? Okay. She wants a shonen protagonist. <laughs> Horrible. Horrible thing. <laughs> Oh, wait, where is Kaguya? Why is still not? Why is she still not here? Oh, oh, there she is. Oh my, Miko's still crying. All right. Hmm. All right. Ah, there you go. There you go. You have your answer. You have your answer. <laughs> Energized. <laughs> Oh, Ishigami is here. Yeah, 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 exactly. Thank you, Ishigami. Thank you, Ishigami. <laughs> yes, Ishigami. <laughs> All right.
<laughs> True. Everyone loses. Or our shield gonna wins, okay. Prince does exist, right? <laughs> okay, that's it. Wow. Okay, there was a little serious part in the middle of the whole episode. Now, the thing here is... Like... I'm guessing they're in the final year. So... There really is not much time. And I do wonder... Like, the manga is still ongoing, isn't it? I wonder where the anime actually is, if comparing it to the manga. Where the anime actually is now. Like, because I think the manga is still ongoing, so... Does that mean the manga is almost at the end? Like, it does seem like we're going to that place. Like, this is the final year, most probably. So, I don't know. And Shirogane wants to... Okay, I will talk about this. Uh, Shirogane wants to go to... Like, go abroad and study and she said some he said something like oh like this is the only time i'm going to get with kavya but here's the thing like if kavya wants to i think kavya can also but that's completely on her i guess you know she doesn't have any future goals because she did say or maybe she has she has not expressed it um she okay that's the end she did say that uh whatever my parents want me to do i'll do that so maybe she's repressing her actual feelings and she does have something she want to do but she's not telling that if that's the case then uh the, then this the kind of the situation is still a bit complicated but if she has no what do you call it no goal you know, no particular goal that she wants to pursue like I, I guess if like you know she wants to she can actually go with uh, like you know Shirogane because both of them are very good at like, like at, at academics and you know like a stop at their classes if they want to I'm pretty sure Kaguya can also get a letter of recommendation and I think if she doesn't have any particular goal she can easily go with the president to like you know whatever the president is going I think Stratford I think that's what he said uh, go there and take like you know whatever subject she wants to pursue and you know like yeah they they will still be together there as well but but this is i guess this is just wishful thinking uh because there's a lot of things that you have to think about her parents all that stuff what her parents wants to do uh you know like as she said what my parents have in store for me and maybe some other problem as well so but this is an an actual path you know this is like an like a open path where Kaguya can go Kaguya can pursue uh Shirogane. as i said you know like she has she she's like the second in the, in the whole school um just like you know behind shirogane she can easily get a record letter of recommendation she can easily go with the president but i don't know you know like what she like as i said like if she, if she doesn't have any prop like any, any particular goal she can easily make this her goal like yeah go along with the president so i don't i, I don't know like you know this is this is just me or maybe yeah like anyways like i'm i'm, I'm just thinking how how can this you know like how, how can you change this into a good situation because it does seem, a, this whole situation does seem a little bit sad. But, anyways. Alright, so enough about that. Let's talk about this episode. Uh, first of all, uh, the parent-teacher meeting or, yeah, the, con the thing. And here, the teachers are going to talk to the parents, talk about the students, what they want to do, this and that, the recommendations, what they... Like, you know what the students want to do with like are they going to go to college or are they going to take up a job this and that all of those things so in the beginning where we see like an you know, ishigami is like ah oh, what the hell like you know this is just it's just a, like you know like we're still in school and they're uh, like you know actually pushing all of this on us and <laughs> she ishigami talks about how you know like he has two choices either a ceo or a need 
because <laughs> his parents doesn't i think he said something like his parents doesn't expect something uh so there is a chance of him not doing anything at all and still like you know surviving <laughs> But Eno was like, like, what the hell are you saying? Like, you know, at least go to college. Then, if you don't have any kind of, uh, like, you know, like, goal, you at least go to college. Like, you, you can, like, you know, you'll have some paths open for you in the future. So instead of regretting it in the future, like, just do it. And Eno wants to go to, I guess, law, as he said, as she said. And uh, like, when it comes to Shirogane, when they ask him, what are you going to do? He kind of looks back and he's like looking somewhere else. Now I like you know like I I was thinking like you know that like this is the whole thing I've seen a, in a multiple animals this thing come up where this dilemma of going to college or going like you know furthering your uh, studies comes up you know and I've seen so many animes where a lot of people like you know a lot of students who are not that well off you know they they always try to like you know go for the job now it's not that Shirogane's family is not well off. He, he's a, he, like you know his family is I think like a, most probably a middle class unlike most of the people in this school who are just like billionaires or millionaires like Kaguya and all of them like Chika you know they, they have they're like swimming in money like you know uh, if you compare to them Shirogane like you know like Shirogane is like you know a middle in a middle class family so I was thinking like what he was going to choose here like as as I said in most of the animals that I see there this dilemma always comes up going for college or going for job and most of the times the main character or whatever they kind of think about taking like you know the job as a future prospect because you know like uh, continuing their education would be a little bit difficult and you know like and going for like or or they also like you know might try to go for the scholarship that's also another thing that they try to do if they want to go towards the college so i was thinking it was going to be something like that but in the end, I do get to know that it's not that problem is not here. Shirogane has his mind made up. He do want to go and like you know pursue his studies abroad, which is Trafford. I think that's what he said. And uh, the principal can easily write him a letter of recommendation because he is the best student of this school, like easily, easy, easy stuff. So yeah, it won't be a problem for him to actually go abroad and study and like you know, f like you know, further increase is like you know uh, academics but the actual problem here is about kaguya what he wants to do about this whole situation he has still not confessed that is the problem here and that is the problem that we're going to face uh so all right now we begin this episode with chica and his fam and her family and <laughs> chica says like i want to be the president <laughs> And I'm, I wholeheartedly agree with the teacher. The teacher was like, like, you are saying these type of things, like, you know, like, I, I really am not able to understand if this is a joke or you really want to do it because this is you who's saying this. And I'm also like, yeah, I agree. Like, Chika saying something, we don't know if it's actually a joke or he, she really legit means, means it. <laughs> I guess see Chika's dad is also that type of a very casual type of a person, just... Ha ha ha! Laughing like, you know, like, oh, my daughter made a joke. Look at that. That's so funny. <laughs> that type of a character, <laughs> lighthearted, just you know, like casual. <laughs> While Kavya is sitting outside. Now I was wondering whether we we're going to meet Kavya's dad and or her mom, but nope, unfortunately not. I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing they're keeping their identities hidden because they'll <laughs> they'll appear as last boss. In this in this anime, I feel like in the final arc or something, <laughs> Kaguya's parents are going to appear as last boss. <laughs> then their <laughs> appearances are going to be revealed. I feel like something like that is going to happen. That's why they are not showing, like not introducing them at all. We don't even know how her parents look like. So yeah, we we just heard that. Oh yeah, there is there are someone out there. <laughs> and from everything from everything about like the, the two seasons we've seen before all the things we've seen before in Kaga Samala Um her, her family situation is a bit complicated so that's another problem which also hints at a future you know problem regarding the whole Shirogane and Kaguya's like you know relationship so yeah, we'll have to wait for that as well. Anyways, um, Kaguya is sitting and Kaguya is like, ah, oh, they're not going to come today. And 
it was kind of funny to see at, at, at the beginning when Hasaka said like oh my mom is also not going to come like you know like she, she won't be coming and she said like she also had no interest in her own daughter and I was like okay so that means uh, Hayasaka's mom like you know Hayasaka also doesn't have a good relationship with her mom that means Hayasaka mom's uh, Hayasaka's mom come in I think her name was now and Hayasaka's like oh mom you're here I'm like what what is this like I, I genuinely thought for a moment that Hayasaka and her mom's relationship was not that good it was kind of you know like a little bit strained or something but she just, just does a complete 180 over here and she just starts <laughs> starts, to, starts to talk like that and she's like oh like pat my head <laughs> the mom now is patting her head <laughs> and then she's like oh where should we go for dinner this and that and I'm like all right like what the hell was that then you know like a minute ago she was talking about how her mom doesn't care about her and now she's just like you know just like you know laughing and smiling like that and it's like oh where should we go for dinner like all right like <laughs> like this really shows how she just like, everything everything about Hayasaka is like a fake persona you know she just she just plays a role all the time each and every time like you know you, you cannot even figure out what she's telling is it true or is it her actual feelings or not <laughs> so yeah now now it was kind of sad a little bit to see how Kaguya was thinking like oh at least your parents have time for you but yeah not me my parents doesn't care now <laughs> then there was like a little section where there's like a few people like kind of playing the drum guitar and everything Kaguya was kind of looking at that you know a guy come I don't know what the hell a guy comes in like you know in front of the mic he just completely like Okabe Rintaro from Steins Gate I was like what the hell is this you know, like, you know the lab coat and everything with the, the, the hairstyle and all and <laughs> in comes Theo <laughs> Ashirogane's dad <laughs> he's like hey Kaguya <laughs> This part is so hilarious. The dad is like, "Oh, like how how's your relationship? You know, is everything okay? Like you know, it's it's is it is it going smoothly? This and that." He just he just keeps asking her, and now it's like, "Wait, who's that?" And Hasaka tells her about it. And now it's like, "Oh, that's kind of fun, isn't it? Like, you know, this situation is really funny." And ha like, now is saying something like that, and Hasaka's like, "Yeah, you're right." And oh boy, yeah, we can see where she gets that. Like you know. <laughs> Where where Hasaka gets her personality from? We can easily see that. Now it was kind of nice to see, you know, like after that, um, that <coughs> Hasaka uh, like now and um, Shirogane's dad, they were like, oh, like let us be your, um, like you know, your parents for this at least. <laughs> and both of them like accompany Kavya to like you know to talk to the teacher it's kind of nice to see that you know like it's like you know yeah like she at least got someone with to accompany her and you know like not all alone like it, it does feel a little bit awkward you know like like your parents were told to come and you're all alone going for in front of the teacher the teacher asks you like where are your parents you're like yeah like they're they're busy so fortunately they couldn't be here it's sad that that situation is sad so at least two of them being there with them with her was nice you know like e either way Hayasaka's mom would have gone with Kaguya we pretty much know that but still Shirogane's dad being there was also kind of nice okay then we can get to see uh, a few other characters what they want to do Maki says I like to get to college with a strong economics program Maki Shijo wants to advance to an university outside the academy okay uh, Nagisa is like, for now, I'm not planning to apply in any colleges. Uh, Nagisa Kashiwagi wants to continue the academy's university. Okay. Mm -hmm. if, uh, uh, the, da uh, the, the, the boyfriend, what's his name? Subaka, uh, Subasa or Subaki? Something like that, I forgot. <laughs> uh, he says, my first choice is premed program at public university. So Kashiwagi's boyfriend wants to advance to a university 
outside the academy. <clears throat> Wait, so Maki wants to go outside the academy. Kashiwagi's boyfriend also wants to go outside the academy while, Kash uh, while uh, Kashiwagi wants to be in this, in the academy, stay here. Okay. <laughs> and Hasaka was like, I want to switch jobs. <laughs> but it's funny because her actual, like, she, she's not a actually a student here, you could say. She is a student, but her actual job is Kavya's, you know, like uh, being with Kavya. Now, Kavya's answer was, I want to do what my parents tell me to do. Kavya Shino, uh, Shinomiya wants to continue in the academy's university. Now, as I said, like, you know, she doesn't say that I want to dare do this or that. I, I don't know, maybe she does have something she wants to do and she just didn't tell it. But in any case, in any chance, if she, Kavya doesn't have any particular goal, you know, I think she could easily accompany Shirogane. Like, I don't know if this is my wishful thinking or not, but yeah, like if you're, if you're, if there's no goal for you, you can easily make up a new goal, can't you? So I, I'm just trying to say that, like, you know, but if she does have like another goal, which she's not telling, then that's completely different. Then I think she should follow that. Even if Kaguya and Shirogane might get, like, you know, separated, she should follow her own goal. But if she doesn't have any goal in any chance, like, you know, in any, like, you know, if she doesn't have any goal, she can make another goal, which is just, you know, like accompany Shirogane and then do something what she wants to do. I don't know. Okay. Then um, uh, we go to Shirogane's, like, you know, thing. And I was really surprised to see what Shirogane said. And, and the principal was like, do you really want a recommendation? And... Shirogane is like, yeah, I want to go to, I think, Stratford? No, Stanford, okay. Miyuki Shirogane will be studying abroad. So this is not just in the academy or outside the academy. No, this is studying abroad completely. Like, yeah, like that's basically it. Like, this is just, like, you know, she, she, he won't be here at all. Like, she, he might come back in, in the vacations or stuff, I don't know or maybe after his study ends, but that'll probably take a long time. So that's why she's, he's thinking about the whole situation. Shirogane's dad does tell him that, like interesting thing he says, not everyone follows the same path. Time goes by in the blink of an eye. If you have any unfinished business here in Japan, now's the time not to hesitate. Uh, yeah, so basically that as as Shirogane's dad said like time goes by by in a blink of an eye You know like it, even, it's not that you're just going away forever. Mm -hmm. You will come back, but Definitely be sure to complete whatever job you have undone and you should do that and then go and uh, Like you know like people go their own ways, but you know like they also if fate permits and if they want they can also come back and you know so yeah, that's that's basically it. And here Shirogane actually like I, I think this is the actual first time we see him actually thinking that all right, like, you know, if he doesn't confess, now, I was kind of a little bit concerned in this moment when she was he was saying like the, the sentence was not finished. He was saying if Kaga doesn't confess by the end of this time, you know, I was kind of concerned. I was thinking like oh my god, is she going to, is he going to say something like then I'll give up or something? But no, he, he says that I will confess, which is a big, what can I say, progression, because that means like he's going to wait up until the end. And if he sees that Kaguya is not confessing, he is actually accepting to admit defeat in this whole love is war game. You know? He's ready to ac accept defeat if it means that he could confess. So I'm really glad about that because you know what, like you know, I, I would have lost my mind if he actually said something like I'm going to give up, you know, I would have actually lost my mind. I'd be like, what the hell, dude, you're crazy or something. So yeah, thank God he didn't say that, you know, like, because I, I know there are, <laughs> there are certain animes which would actually go to, to that, towards that path, you know, but thankfully this anime is not like that, you know, like I've seen enough drama about these whole these type of situations in a lot of other animes i don't want those dramas so yeah thank god shirogane said something like 
all right if she doesn't do it i'm going to do it so yeah good <clears throat> oh now here's the thing then after that shiragane is like what to do how do i ask her out and he's like all right like if i just ask her out that doesn't mean that i'm confessing so i can just ask her out to go with me to somewhere and he thinks about what to do and then he th thinks about the culture the festival i think yeah the school festival and he's like all right so this school over the, that school you know like should we like you know should, should do you think Kaguya, do you think that we should like you know the people should go there and like check that place out just in case you know like we should we should know our enemy better and that's why you know like we should check that place out like you know i'm the student council president i'm, I'm obviously worrying about this situation what do you think Kaguya? which was an indirect way of asking her out unfortunately Kaguya here as Kaguya says later on that i never expected the president to say something like that in an indirect manner so i wasn't able to catch up on it so she's like that's ah, fine i don't think you have to think like you know you have to worry about that president he goes away and then she realizes midway she's like wait a minute did he just you know like ask me to hang out with him and oh my god and then everything kind of like kind of falls back to place and she realizes what she has done and she's just like like she's like yeah i i had the chance you know and i just lost it <laughs> as the guy is like, like what the hell are you doing you know and uh, <laughs> now as i said like you know like i do agree with kaguya and Kaguya says that Shirogane, I, I never thought Shirogane would do that. So I really didn't think he was trying to say something like that. That's why in my, my brain, it didn't even register. And it took a while to register because this is like a, such a like, you know, weird thing that the president would even tell me. You know, I never thought, I never expected that. Now, I kind of, ex like, you know, I kind of thought about like, you know, them, they would maybe get like a hint or probably try to figure out why the president is hurrying and maybe he they would go would be able to go to the core of that matter of maybe something is wrong with president why is she, otherwise why is she he hurrying but i i think they still don't under like you know they haven't figured it out but i'm i'm sure kaga will figure it out little by little in the future and he she will probably like you know think that why is the president trying to hurry so much and that might like you know like she might be able to figure out in the by the end that the president is going to go abroad that's why he's hurrying all right now <laughs> kaguya's like all right you know what i made a mistake so let me ask him out and she does like you know in, in a good way she kind of says that all right so like you know, you were, your president you were saying like going there i think like yeah like as representatives we should probably do that we should like probably go like he, she doesn't say it like that but she kind of indirectly says that and someone representing our academy should conduct some reconnaissance after all there you go that's how she said that and here she is like what the hell is happening does she really mean it or is she trying to imply something else and uh, like you know his arms are sweaty it's just sweat falling down <laughs> and he's thinking he's like wait a minute does this does Kaguya means that she, she wants to go with me or this is or does this mean something else and but when they they never like you know they they're unable still unable to actually bring out the keyword over here you know what the keyword here is let us go together they aren't able to say that you know the, it's still a bit too quick for them <laughs> they're not accustomed to this so shiragana and kaguya are like wait a minute let me just wait for someone to come and give us a little boost in confidence so we could ask each other out and oh boy who be like, what who better person is there like you know to give them a boost in confidence other than ishigami ishigami comes in and he's like ah those fools they were asking each other out in the <laughs> in the hallway <laughs> you know that's that's so bad and he's just laughing and he's like the, the other the girl kind of you know like uh, rejected them and the confidence goes down by two points i think two or three points and Eno comes in and Eno again, you know, it's like, oh, hi, I was able to stop these people from <laughs> going out. And again, like, you know, we know, you know, is very straightforward, you know, so yeah, not good. Confidence falls down again. 
and uh, all right so chica comes in and i like you know we were expecting chica to kind of boost their confidence because chica is the positive girl always and uh, shirogane does get a little boost of confidence when he asks chica that yeah like shouldn't we go there like don't you like to go to like you know the other academy and check it out <clears throat> and she's like yeah it's quite fun all that and her his conference kind of boosts up then wait a minute but maybe because the festival atmosphere had gone to their heads so many boys keep hitting on me how deplorable since you're so pretty kawaii you shouldn't should probably stay away and there you go all the confidence goes down and here even though all that happened kaguya was like yeah but you know what you know if someone some like, you know, accompanies me you know like we can go you know like there's no chance of people hitting on me this and that so it'll be fine and she took her every ounce of courage to actually say that and shirogana was like yeah you're right like you know like it's just perfect like when i'm free and as soon as he was going to say something like oh kagya let's go together <laughs> chika i think chika is the one who says that wait a minute yeah chika says like oh why not ishigami and shirogane and there you go ah, ishigami comes in gives him a high five and like yeah president let's go that's a great idea <laughs> and then they went they also like and i had fun <laughs> oh lord all right and then the final section where we see chika kind of you know, like the whole guitar thing he was she was doing and uh, here shirogane says like oh maybe i can also do that but chika's like no you should look at this objectively have you ever thought about the other people how they feel when you play like you know some music you always say that you know it's 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 okay i'm not that bad but no it is that bad so try to look at yourself objectively and this kind of gives uh like you know shirogane an idea he's like yeah chika is right you know not only this situation the whole kaguya situation as well i should look at myself objectively and to do that i need some other opinion on me so he's like all right let's ask other people what they feel about me what they think about me and as always we know shirogane is awkward he goes to the person that is niko ino who is the most what can i say like affected by these type of situations <laughs> he's like just was almost going to do a kabedon i feel like <laughs> but he's like oh what do you feel about me and obviously miko completely like you know, misunderstood that situation miko uh, like you know, messages that girl i forgot her name you know president confessed his love to me and she's like oh like you know later on i'll give my answer later on chika comes in and she's going to ask the same question to chika <laughs> and miko's like president is a man <laughs> and obviously chika also gets weirded out and then like you know like chika's like oh now like and obviously not i'm not going to like you know Le just a sec okay uh sure and ask to take a shot at considering whether you'd go out with me or not and chika's like i never i die Shirogane's ego completely got destroyed like a like tofu I think he, they said his ego is as fragile as a block of tofu and thankfully Chika realized what Shirogane was trying to do she's like oh wait are you talking about the whole like you know like looking at yourself objectively that whole thing are, are you talking about like you know and Shirogane's like yeah and Miko then realizes what happened Miko's like why are you asking me like, like that like, I don't ask in a proper way I completely misunderstood that situation now we do get to know what Chika thinks about the president Chika thinks of the president like a baby you know, like someone who <laughs> someone who he wants like you know she wants to take care of and she does kind of diss the president a little bit talks about how her, his face is not her type and this and that but you know does kind of boost his confidence a little bit you know it's like ah like you know like you help me out so i do you know kind of like you 
Oh no, sorry. Eno talks about how through look wise he's not his her type. And Eno talks about what type of person he thinks is a perfect is like you know like a like you know like a prince and a horse. And oh my god, was that a reference to some other anime? Like this is like these characters, like you know, like this is like a blonde prince. There's Shirogane, there's Ishigami, all of them like have like sparkly eyes, like a shoujo type of a like you know what do you call it show your type of a uh, vibe so i feel like this is like some sort of reference to some another some other anime or something i'm not sure what it is but probably <laughs> and chica's like yeah you can dream all you want but you're going to get hurt <laughs> and market starts crying <laughs> she's like I, i'm sure there will be a person like that in the future now, Chika does talk about what type of person she likes, and she talks about a shonen protagonist, like someone who's never going to give up, who's a fighter. You know, just and then she's like, "Wait a minute, I feel like that's precedent," <laughs> and I feel like that was going to turn into a compliment, but somehow Chika was able to make that a complete diss at the precedent as well. She's like, "What the hell? Like, how is like you know the precedent?" The type of person I like, but I still don't like you. Like that type of a diss she kind of made. And I'm like, what the hell, Chica? You're going too far. <laughs> but, you know, our savior, I think. Wait a minute. Oh no, Ishigami comes later on, I think. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. No, uh, our savior comes later on. <laughs> Kaguya comes in after that. And uh, like, you know, like uh, Kaguya is like, nah, I'm okay with president. Like, he's fine the way he is, you know? And you know what? That's all it mattered. Like, you know, she, she, she like, she kind of doesn't want any other people's opinions. Kaguya's opinions is the one that only matters to him. And as soon as she gets that, he gets that boost, he, he's just like, oh yeah, really? Yeah, I, I think, you know, like, he, he just gets his confidence back. And, uh, but Chika still tries to keep, like, you know, is still like, you know, kind of, Okay, Chika still, Chika's like, come on, Kaguya, no fear being the one only to play nice. As far as president goes, there's no hiding his faults. Like, you know, she, he, she keeps trying to say those type of things. And I'm like, what the hell, Chika, calm down. <laughs> like, how much else do you want to torment the president? But then our savior comes in, Ishigami. Ishigami's like, like yeah, you should look at yourself first, Chika. You know, like, look at yourself objectively first and then talk about others. <laughs> and I'm like, good boy, Ishigami. There you go. Just like a person that we needed at this time. He, he just came in. <laughs> and Kabe was also like, yeah, you know, you as well. Don't speak ill about others. And uh, Ishigami, but Shiran is full confidence is full, fully back. He's like, ah, you guys, you guys should also look at yourself up subjectively. <laughs> And that's where it ends. Uh, that was a good episode. Uh, we do get to see that there is a single point of concern that is going to pop up, which is a serious point. Shirogane going aboard and abroad. And I think this, this whole thing is going to be like the main theme of this season from here onwards. And we're going to see how Sh what Shirogane decides, what Kaguya, whether Kaguya is able to figure out what's happening, all that stuff. So yeah. You know, it, it wouldn't be all happy from here on. Well, there will be sections which are serious from here on, I think. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. This was my reaction to Kaguya Summer Love is War Season 3, Episode number 6. Uh, no, wait, was it? Uh, was it 6? Yeah, 6. Episode number 6. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. And I'll check them out. And that is it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys next week with another episode of Kaguya-sama Love is War. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.